designing shiny gelatin buttons in Fireworks CS3 by Adam at Flash Building. In this Fireworks CS3 lesson, we'll be demonstrating how to create uh, gel buttons uh, for your Dreamweaver projects or whatever uh, HTML projects you're working in. Uh, if you're working in Flash, this uh, these buttons can actually be made inside of uh, Flash itself, so you wouldn't need to make it in Fireworks to bring it into Flash. It can be made right inside of Flash, but this is good for making them for Dreamweaver. And we'll show you how to make nice gel gelatin buttons that are nice shiny buttons. And we're going to go ahead and do a an ellipse. square and we'll give it a little roundness here and bring the roundness up I'm going to make them solid dark red that's good and not so dark and now we're going to select both of them by holding shift and clicking one and click the other and holding shift and select both of them at the same time and press control C control V and it'll paste them right on top of each other right there and we're going to change the color on the ones on top to uh, bright red and we're going to resize them to about right there that looks good and then we'll bring the circle back where it belongs and that one back right about there and this is going to serve as like a, a glow effect inside of the button and we'll give it a filter of um, blur Gaussian blur Gaussian however you say that and we'll blur it out a little more and so it'll just serve as a little glow back there hanging out and now we're going to select these again these two press control C control V and we're going to bring to front so we'll press modify arrange bring to front now they're back on top the new ones and we're going to make those white and we're going to resize those as well so you hit the resize tool the scale tool while they're both selected and you can scale them down and you put them into place Now we're going to give these a linear gradient. So we go down to the gradients, linear, and on top we want it to be white. So we can just kind of swap these two where they are, put the white on top. The red uh, needs to sync up to the dark red, so we'll double click or click that and then go to where our red, our dark red is, select that, and then select the opacity and drag it all the way down to zero and now you can almost see our our shine effect uh, coming to life there now uh, we're going to select the just the backs the bases where it's a solid dark red I'm going to filter of inner glow It's so dark, maybe right there. And so you can see already how they're taking shape and becoming really shiny looking buttons. Uh, but we're going to take it just a step further now. And we're going to let's see, let's put a now let's just highlight them both Control C, Control V, go up here to modify, uh, transform flip vertical and we can drag them down put them where they should go there this one looks like it needs to go down a little bit now this is a cool effect especially if you're in a black background um, you can then take a rectangle put it over the ones on the bottom leave that linear like it is the linear gradient your opacity up 
on the bottom and make it a uh, hundred percent then make it black and then where it's white make it black also and then bring that opacity down just a bit to maybe let's see oh, let's get that one out of here to about yeah right there looks good and now you have that cool uh, reflective effect going on there and actually this thing about right there and the black needs to come in more and dominate right about there and now you've given your, your button that nice uh, reflective look so it looks like it's sitting a nice shiny button sitting on a uh, on a uh, a surface and the reflections reflections coming down you can also take uh, text put it on the button like grab a wing ding or something if that was a play button uh, let's see where the wing dings is it web web dings web dings and I think it's four yeah press four and then uh, is your play button symbol and I always like to stretch mine out because make it a little wider and then what's cool is if you grab the the linear gradient of white the white linear gradient uh, and you modify that arrange bring to front now it looks like the symbol is laid in there inside the button and the shine is on top of it so uh, that's how it's done so you can see all the pieces of that you have your glow that was put on top of the symbol. The symbol was given an inner glow itself. The base was given an inner glow of a little bit dark to round it off. And then we gave it a glow. We gave it a linear gradient on top. And it shows you how to make a nice shiny gel button. And you can make all kind of shapes for these and uh, all kind of sizes. And they look really sharp and smooth. And especially if you animate them and you put the this reflective uh, effect on it really sharp and smooth. Okay, we'll see you guys next lesson.